Steve now wants to pit the Colosseum against his own modern creation, the Bird's Nest Stadium in Beijing. In the ultimate stadium test. Steve plans to use crowd simulation software where thousands of computer-generated people are created called avatars, each with their own intelligence. Avatars can be programmed to do anything from fighting in epic battles in Hollywood movies to being used in Steve's work to predict how large crowds will move around structures. This software is currently used to perform the ultimate litmus test on today's stadiums, evacuation. We've been able to accurately recreate one-eighth of the Colosseum to replicate the original seating bowl and the corridors and stairways behind the seats. And we've done the same thing with one-eighth of Beijing's Bird's Nest Stadium. Every single individual now is deciding to leave. Each avatar is deciding independently which route to take, looking for the fastest path. Most major modern buildings go through this test in construction, but how will the Roman design compare? Four minutes into the test, and spectators are finding it easy to leave the bowl at the Bird's Nest Stadium. But at the Colosseum, there are still queues to get out. We're only at, what are we, four minutes, and they've already all left the seats. The seating bowl in the bird's nest is proving to be superior, and the Colosseum is lagging behind. But this is only half the test. For a stadium to work, it also has to clear its concourses behind the seats. And Steve has noticed that the Colosseum is performing particularly well here. He thinks this is where the Colosseum could make up some lost ground. See, the crowd density is actually it's thinning a little yeah. bit. That has to be designed, you know, that's not by accident. So you can see these stairs are wider than these stairs. Yeah. So they've actually said, when we've got all the people from the different levels mingling here, we need to make it wider and to basically open out the end of this to allow them to leave. The crowds have now emptied from both seating bowls. So it's down to the staircases behind the seats to get people out quickly. And it's here that the modern stadium design seems to be slowing down. And with the very last person approaching the exit perimeter for both stadiums, it's time to stop the clock and see which one has performed best. For the Colosseum... Let's check the time. 12 minutes, 44 seconds. Yeah. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, Steve. And for the bird's nest... Oh! <laughs> 12 minutes, 57. You can't do that to me. I want a rerun. I want a rerun. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> Unbelievably, in the ultimate stadium test of evacuation, the Colosseum has beaten Steve's bird's nest stadium. I'm astonished. I mean, I, I'm astonished when we run the analysis, but actually looking at the Colosseum, as we've said all along, it looks like a great stadium. So, you know, visually, it looks right, and then when we test it, it is right. So, Roman engineers, well done.